So you want to verify connection to a SQL Server, but the only problem is you don't have access to the internet. You cannot install a, a thumb drive, nothing. You're just stuck with the machine itself. Mr. HBSS says no thumb drives allowed and no internet access. So what are you going to do? The easiest way is using a UDL file. Now I'm going to show it and it's fairly easy. Uh, on the right hand side you can see I have a VM, I call it SQL01 and I have SQL Server 2016 installed. On the left hand side I have a VM called it Apple One. It just has a Windows OS running. We're going to start on Apple One. So we right click, New, Text Document. You can name it whatever, it doesn't really matter. I'll name it Test because I'm not that creative when it comes to naming things. Uh, double click, open it up, File, Save As. And now here, we want to save it with the extension .udl. But in order for that to actually convert it to UDL file, you have to make sure under Save As Type, you choose All Files. Otherwise, it won't work. Save. You can X out of this. And we can zoom out here. You can drag and drop this on the Recycle Bin. Now you see this file. That's the file we just created with the .udl extension. If we just double click it, and now we have this uh, data link properties window utility. You can just type in the server name right here, SQL01. Now I'm going to be using Windows NT Integrated Security. You can use either or uh, and hit test connection. Done. Very simple. I did not stick in any thumb drives. I didn't go to the internet. I just created a text document and renamed it .udl and that's what I used. That's the beauty about this, very simple. Um, if you do have an issue where you get an error and you don't get a test connection succeeded, then what you want to do is check out the ports. Make sure the firewall ports are open uh, for TCP 1433, uh, UDP 1434. Like You want to make sure these SQL Server uh, default ports are open. Um, so that is how you use a UDL file. And as a bonus, I'm going to show you a utility that I think every DBA or data professional should have in their toolkit. And it is this, Port Query UI. Now this is the GUI version of the Port Query um, app. Double click it. And I have the link to this in the notes. You can download it. I think it's great. Uh, unzip it. You get that folder. You open up the folder. You get this. Double click it. And now you have this little GUI interface here, and you just type in the server name, right? SQL01. And then you have two types of query type. You have the predefined pre service, and good thing is they have SQL service as an option. You can just choose that, hit query, and wait and see. And you can see that uh, UDP port 1434, which the SQL browser uses, is listening, meaning it's open. And also TCP port 1433, which is a default port for SQL Server, is listening as well. So that is awesome. And I actually really love this uh, utility uh, port query UI. So I highly recommend it. So hope that helps. You can either, if you don't have internet, no fear, UDL file. If you do, port query is a great one. So hope that helped. And uh, yeah, good luck.